Good morning, brothers and sisters. How you guys doing? Running late for work? <laughs> so we'll have the foot down on the pedal a little bit here, you guys. So bear with me. I just wanted to get on here and make a quick video. I uh, spoke to our brother Jason yesterday, and uh, today's the day. Uh, they've decided that they're going to do surgery on his ankle today. It's getting to the point where... <clears throat> It's been almost exactly two weeks since the day of the accident and because of how amazing uh, our father's creation is the body um, the the I said almost said vehicle which is the same thing it's kind of funny uh, our bodies will start to heal um, any way that it can so even though the ankle is destroyed it, it will try to find a way to to fix itself in a way that we can function <clears throat> So they don't want that to happen. They don't want to have to go in and re-break or do any, cause any more trauma to the body. That will take longer than necessary to heal. But here's the thing, you guys. Prayer. Keep praying for Jason. Because I know in my spirit that he's going to heal faster, stronger, and better than he could possibly have imagined. And I know in my spirit that this is a humbling moment for both him, his wife, and his son. Everything needs to happen exactly according to the timing of how our Father presents it to us. I know that. And I know at times it may look tough and it may look dim, whatever the case may be, you guys. We just have to have faith. I had a, a brother, as I was getting ready for work here this morning, he um, he sent me, a, a li I guess, a snippet of news that happened. Um, and apparently... Uh, the governor, the new governor of New York, um, has mandated that as of midnight, I believe last night, that all the healthcare workers that are unfit for work uh, will be terminated. And if you just stop for two seconds, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have a conversation with him this morning about it. Look at the hypocrisy just in that. So the same people that you need more of to help with the situation, you're going to let go over something that doesn't even affect anybody else. It just affects them, which will put more of a strain on the system, which will have them to say, look, it, there's, we just can't control it. It's too much is happening. Well, maybe if you stopped firing the people that are there to help you slow down your situation it might work out for you. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once. It's insane. It's absolutely insane, you guys, when you look at it that way. But in this upside, flipped upside down world, nothing makes sense anymore. To, to somebody that's trying to navigate through this without Jesus Christ, it is just this... They can't even believe what they're hearing themselves but they find a way to, to, to get accustomed to it. Just like I said in yesterday's video, you know, if you stretch this out for such a long period of time, you eventually get used to whatever they're trying to push on you. And you say a lie enough times, it becomes the truth. And so people are just being slow rolled, conditioned is the word, just slowly, slowly conditioned until finally there's a majority and enough people that believe the lie. And so pray for our brothers and sisters in New York because uh, it, it looks like, I didn't think this governor could out-top the last one, but in this day and age, you can't be in power unless you can out-evil the other one. And I believe that's what's happening. Uh, there's a, a clip I just saw from the same governor, and I think actually I will mirror it and put it on there. Um, but she's talking about Jesus, and she's talking about um, how we're the enemy. The ones that have uh, decided against it are the enemy and that she knows who we are and that she's um, asking the people of New York that have done what they should have done, her apostles, as she says, uh, to go out and have a conversation with somebody that hasn't gone along with the mandate and, uh, and explain to them that that's what Jesus would do. If you see what's happening here, brothers and sisters, they know the remnant the ones that are left and the reason why they're left is because of Jesus Christ 
and you're going to notice this narrative is going to slowly start coming out more and more and more and it's going to be a way for them to put obviously more pressure on the people that haven't conformed but also get the people that have to start hating the reason why they haven't conformed and praise Jesus Christ we have one more day one more soul to work on you guys that's it focus on that one soul that you know that's near and dear to you that's close that's either new searching whatever the case may be just do whatever you can today and whether that be opening up a door or smiling whatever the case may be do your part today you guys do your part so either way i'm going to make this short please pray for jason and uh think about him today i they don't have an exact time they basically just said uh you know, we'll call you and then you got to be here within the hour and then uh, we'll prep you and get it done. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll know. I know as much as you do right now, but what I do know is that this is with purpose. He will be fine. Praise Jesus Christ. You guys, I love you all. Have an amazing day and father willing. We'll talk tomorrow. Take care. I prayed a lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers. He made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. And we must say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love? But to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. Yo, that was mad creepy. If you watched that and you didn't feel weird inside, you might want to check your soul. Talk about a manifestation. That was real. She said she needs us to be her apostles. So like Jesus had apostles to spread the good news. She needs apostles to spread this jab. Y'all do know that Satan imitates, right? She said that God sent us this jab. As if God doesn't do miracles and wonders. As if God needs to send us something that needs to be injected in our bodies. And not just one time, but different boosters. Yo, I'm like truly disturbed by that video. Thank you, God. Nothing about that seemed genuine. It just looked like a full manifestation. Look, I'm not about to sit here and lie to y'all. That was evil. The word of God says even Satan masquerades around like an angel of light. Don't be deceived out here. God does not need to manifest medicine to make us feel better. God gave us the word of God. If you truly want to feel better, then dive into the holy scriptures. Engrafting this word will engraft Christ in you. Christ is perfect. If Christ is manifesting in you, then the more perfect you are becoming. We do not need medicine for that. We do not need the pharmacy, which just means pharmacia, which means sorcery. It's witchcraft. We don't need that. We need the word of God to be engrafted in us. Listen, I'm not saying everybody's bad because they're not. But we are really in a time right now where we need to recognize who is who. Yes, there's good doctors out there and people in the medical field. Do not twist my words up. But there are many wicked ones. Scary part is people are really out here living their life and don't even realize or see what's coming. As in the days of Noah, I guess. Don't be blind, y'all. Don't be blind. It's some real next level wickedness going on in the world right now. Don't seek religion or all these other gods. I'm going to be specific with you. Seek Jesus Christ.